A 20.7 megapixel camera with seamless image sensor on a waterproof smartphone. Yes, that's right. I'm Jens Garcia from tech for geeks and this is our unboxing and first look at the Sony Xperia Z1. So Sony finally launched their latest flagship phone, the Xperia Z1, last night at a press event in Sydney. And thankfully we got our review unit after it. So here it is. It's quite similar to the packaging of its predecessor, the Xperia Z. You have the picture of the phone at the front, uh, Sony and Xperia branding on the side, and you have the specifications on the back. Now, as you can see, it has a 20.7 megapixel camera with Exmor RS seamless sensor with Bion's processing engine. And it also has the latest Triluminous NX Reality display. I know those are the boring stuff, so let's go ahead and slide this up. And obviously the first thing we'll see is the phone itself. Now inside the packaging, there are not a lot of accessories actually. The first thing you'll see is the super large manual and uh, warranty and it looks like something I would actually stick on my wall. But anyway, apart from that, we'll also find a USB wall charger. And last but not the least is the micro USB for charging and transferring files on your phone. Now basically that's about everything in the box. Now let's check the phone, but before that, let's just quickly take off the uh, plastic and peel off uh, the stickers. And there it is, the white Z1. That definitely looks classy, it feels great in the hand, and the addition of the metal around the device, it just makes it really, uh, feels very sturdy. And despite the glass on the back, you can get this in black and purple as well now. I wasn't really a big fan of the purple one when I saw it at the launch last night, but out of all the colors, I really like the white uh, Z1. Now taking a closer look at the device, at the front you have a two megapixel front facing camera, Sony logo, and a tiny earpiece, which also has a built-in notification light, by the way. And it also has three soft touch buttons. Now on the back of the Z1 is a 20.7 megapixel camera along with an LED flash. And then looking around the device, at the top you'll find a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And on the bottom you'll find the speaker grill and a hole for a strap. So if you're worried about dropping your phone, then it's there. Now you have the power button and volume button on the right, as well as the micro SIM card slot and a dedicated camera button, which is always a nice addition. And then on the other side, you'll find a micro SD card slot, as well as micro USB port and the pogo pins for future docking station. Now, as I've mentioned, they've used a new technology on the display called Triluminous. Basically, it's the same technology as you would find on their Bravia TVs, which means that the colors will uh, look natural, like similar to the IPS displays, but not really uh, saturated, unlike AMOLED displays. Now, in regards to X reality, the display basically uh, reproduces it and upscales it to the best uh, resolution possible. Now, it is a five inch display, so it's pretty uh, large device. And with a pixel density of 441 PPI, then images are definitely gonna look uh, sharp with this display. Now, the main problem with its predecessor, the Xperia Z, is that the screen is washed out and the display on the Z1 seems to be a lot better compared to the Xperia Z. Now, the Z1 is powered by the latest Snapdragon 800 processor running at 2.2 GHz along with Adreno 330 GPU and 2 GB of RAM. So definitely expect some serious uh, performance out of this. And with 16 GB of onboard storage, which is expandable up to 64 GB via micro SD card slot. So there are plenty of room for your media files and applications. Android 4.2.2 is preloaded on the Z1 with Sony's own custom skin on top. And as part of the package, Sony has integrated their own entertainment applications like Music Unlimited and Video Unlimited that any purchased content will be playable in offline mode. Now, before I conclude, I want to show you the new um, camera application as well. Now, as you can see, you get a bunch of options such as the AR effect, which basically overlays an animation and then it gives you this augmented reality 
uh, effect uh, it's pretty cool uh, but i don't think i would be using it all the time and there's also a uh, time shift burst which is basically a burst shots of photos but what's great about this is that it actually captures 61 images in two seconds so that really takes advantage of the new uh, camera sensor. Now we tested this at the event as well uh, last night and the result was impressive. Now, it, as I've said, it really takes advantage of the rear camera and the new image processing engine. Now let us know what videos do you want us to cover by leaving down some comments in the comment section below. And thank you all for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. As always, I'm Jens Garcia from Tech for Geeks, and I'll see you all in the next one.